This is non-calculator question number 14 from practice test 2. College Board gives us a word problem describing the decay of radioactive substance and asks which of these four equations models that decay. These equations are exponential, which you expect for a radioactive decay because a certain proportion decays each year. In this case, it decays at a rate of 13%. And we start with 325 grams. If you have any issues with writing this equation, a good place to start is the correct equation should match at t equals zero. Since we started with 325 grams at t equals zero, at t equals zero, choice A gives you 325 times something to the zero, and anything to the zero is one, so that works. Same with B. Choice C gives you 0.87 times 325 to the zero is 0.87 times one is 0.87 which is not our starting amount, so that's wrong. And the same for D, which gives us 0.13 times a number to the zero. So that's 0.13. Now they're asking, is it A or B, since those two start with the correct amount of our radioactive substance? At T equals one, I get F of one equals 325 times 0.87, or choice B, F of one, equals 325 times 0.13. If you decay at a rate of 13%, you're losing 13% each year, and in particular, you lose 13% after the first year. In choice A, we keep 87%, which means we lost 13%. So that is the correct answer. In choice B, we only have 13% left after one year. So we're decaying at a rate of 87% per year. So choice B is wrong because it doesn't match at one year. Correct answer is A. Alternatively, the amount you have is your beginning amount, which I'm going to write as P, like we do in finance for principal, times 1 plus R to the T. And our amount at the beginning, P, is 325. And the decay rate is 13%, and since it's decay, it's negative 0.13, and that's to the t. So this is 325 times 1 minus 0.13 is 0 0.87, and that's to the t. Which gives me the same answer, and this is slightly faster if you're good with exponential growth and decay. You're very likely to see a question of this type, so it's worth reviewing and come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.